All right, this video here is in reference to delay on make timers. All right, so you have 24 volts coming into this, all right, and then you have a timer on the side here. So the second you send voltage coming in, you have a timed um, amount to where this will connect to this right here, all right? So uh, this would normally be used for uh, connecting inside outdoor condensing units in the electrical compartment. You would just put a screw in through here into the shroud in the inside of the compartment, and you would take your 24 volts coming in, your your normally it's a, a white and red wire, okay? Indicating one is a cooling wire and one is a common wire. You would wire, say, the hot here and the common here, or the hot here and the common here, and that would start your timer. The reason that you would add something like this into your system would be to uh, add extra protection all to your compressor. All right, the compressor has high pressure on one side, low pressure on the other refrigerant. All right, and when that turns off, it needs a chance to equalize. So if your digital thermostat does not have a five minute timer, uh, a five minute on delay, okay? If it does not have that, and then your compressor is susceptible. I've seen compressors and had to change compressors out because whoever installed it did not have a thermostat with a five minute on delay. And what would happen is the, um, the thermostat would call for cooling, all right? And then the compressor would shut off, and then all of a sudden it would call for cooling again, and it, and it did not have a chance to equalize, and therefore ended up ruining the compressor. All right, so it's very simple component, very cheap component, uh, but very crucial to the life of your your compressor inside your outdoor condenser. All right. So what we have here is we have a 120 volt to 24 volt transformer, which we're going to plug in. We're going to attach our hot here and our common. We're going to keep this at six seconds, and we're going to go ahead and test this out. All right. So let me adjust this here. All right. Now we're going to add a multimeter to this to read continuity. All right. So we're going to set our multimeter to continuity. All right. Anytime you have continuity, you're going to hear a beeping noise. All right. That comes from these two connecting. All right. So 24 volts will start it. Whatever time you have, which is six seconds. All right. And then they will connect. Let's go ahead and turn our transformer on now. All right. Now we have 24 volts feeding in presently. All right. And we're going to, you know, count our six seconds here. And here we go. There it is. So um, that's how it works. All right. What you have then is you have this side would be, say, your common, all right, that would get jumpered to there, and then you have your hot, okay, which will be coming out of here. It first comes in here, then comes out, and then you can wire it to your contactor. And what it'll, that'll do is it'll wait six seconds until this uh, to suck down, all right? That's it. Find us again at acservicetech.com.